Lizzie, did you hear? Hear what? Why the deacons finally got together last night and voted on the children's choir. It's about time. Pastor Thompson wanted to start the Christmas program five weeks ago. Why should Grandpa Billy care about any old children's choir anyway? As soon as he sits down in the church house, he falls asleep. <laughs> what happened at the meeting? Well, Grandpa Billy just told him he didn't believe in any old children's choir, and that was the end of it. You mean they didn't even vote? Now, remember, Lizzie dear, Grandpa Billy and his father built that church house of ours with their own two hands, one board at a time. Grandpa Billy ought to have a say in what goes on. <coughs> You're right, Tilly. If Grandpa Billy's again it, then I'm again it too. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Thompson's troubles were just beginning. He tried to start a Wednesday night prayer meeting, but the deacons voted it down too. Mainly because Wednesday night was the same night Grandpa Billy and his cronies had played dominoes for 20 years. And as Grandpa Billy put it, playing dominoes is religion in action. Then Pastor Thompson asked if he could install lights in the church basement to provide much needed Sunday school space. But Grandpa Billy opposed him again. Grandpa always said, can't be too careful with the Lord's money. Then everyone began to notice a, notice a strange phenomenon. Every Sunday, Grandpa Billy was beginning to stay awake for a little more of the church service. And it wasn't because he was enjoying what he heard. In closing, we see that Nicodemus seemed to have everything going in his favor. He was both a Pharisee and a member of the Sanhedrin. I guess you could say the Sanhedrin was something like our deacon board today. Nicodemus was recognized as one of the outstanding spiritual leaders of his day, and yet Jesus told him that being a leader in the church wasn't enough. He needed to be born again, born completely over by the Spirit of God. <laughs> 